Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to another video. So, today we're going to be working on the Corsa again and we're going to be looking to see what is inside of the tank and maybe a few other bits. But yeah, let's get to it. So there's a stockpile of bits. Um, so yeah, we are literally going to be jumping in the back of here. Um, and we need to be looking in the tank because um, we have literally um, had this thing sat for probably a year and a half without being run and I can't remember exactly how much how much fuel is in this tank now one I want to double check to see what pump is in it because um, I'm getting told 255 225 not that it really makes a massive difference but I want to see what it is um, and two I need to drain this fuel out because it's just been in for so long um, and obviously it's a fresh engine I want to make sure that it's got fresh fuel don't want no rust particles or all like that that you'd get out of a tank that's sad fuel sat in it and it might just be bad fuel as well um, so yeah gonna pull this um, pump out and that and see what we're dealing with now I've never been into the tank and this is a bit worrying because if people take these off they don't normally put them back and uh, I'm hoping that someone has actually put a wall bro in here and I'm not going to find just a 1-4 pump in it um, because it is, it is on the quiet side to be honest with you um, so we're, we're gonna find out if it is on a 1.4 pump I don't know how it's been fueling it so to undo these um, I'm just saying big sc screwdriver lump hammer um, and you can literally get your screwdriver end into these sometimes they'll literally you can push against them and they'll go around and move which is another reason why I don't think it's going to have been done um, or you can get this in and hit it with your hammer um, so I'm going to have to put the camera down and just try get this to spin and then it'll allow me to pull this out and then we'll be able to see what pump we've actually got in there so it didn't actually take much um, turning from it but yeah this is just your security ring more than all just to keep it back and smell the fuel now um, yeah I'm gonna have to put phone down again guys and uh, try to see if I can get it to move right so I've just cracked it and uh, how it were held, I'm guessing this isn't going to have a fuel pump change. I bloody hope it has like, but I don't think it is. I 
or the, or the pump does look like it is at first glance a wall bro which I hope so alright let me just try rag this out guys well that's the fuel pump part it put up a lot more of a fight than what I thought we were gonna just put that there but on the good side so far um, the fuel tank looks clean really clean obviously it's picked some stuff up in there um, but the tank it's send don't look rusty so um, I'm gonna pull this fuel pump apart and see if we've got a wall bro there we have it got it apart wall bro um, don't say whether it's uh, 225 or 255 so I'll just probably take a photo of this and send it to Crank um, I'll put it on Sideworks see if anyone knows from these numbers what it is probably Scott Astaball will let me know what it is like but yeah get uh, this back into its pot get the filter back on um, and then we're gonna have to empty this tank out probably get a hose pipe and suck it out but yeah at least we know we've got a wall bro so that's this pump all back together um, leave it out for a minute so inspecting a tank further it looks like there's probably about 10 or 15 litres in it these tanks hold about 40 um, as I say, tank on the inside doesn't look too bad. Um, I know fuel can go bad, but it's not showing no sludginess or all like that. So I'm just gonna send it. I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll have to go fill it up. I'll make sure that I fill it right up. Um, get some proper V power or momentum or something like that. Probably momentum. Um, and fill it up that way. Just brim it and then it should be alright probably stick a bit of finish in it you know what I mean so yeah um, yeah just gonna get this all put back together now probably pin the camera somewhere to try video me putting it back in yeah let's get on with it Six and a half hours later. A two. thousand years later right so that's the um, fuel carrier and pump back in got the power wire on and the ground wire just need to get this um, seal dropped down and then drop the main harness plug onto it um, so I'm just gonna try get this seal to drop down onto it now without dropping it into the tank and then we should be good to seal it back up
because this seal is the thing that's going to um, keep the smell from coming into inside the car basically I need to get these pipes in without creasing them and we've got this little returning clip that goes on to um, the power wire onto the level sensor pull that to the side drop this down hopefully it'll drop that down Right, so I finally got this in it. Took me about three days. Um, I haven't watched the time of three days, but it feels like three days. Um, so yeah, just need to get this plug back on. <laughs> oh, let one rip. Yeah, that's that. High as fuck, man. Get that tap back on. Right. <laughs> Meanwhile. Not gonna lie, guys. I am off my box. I am um, blazed being in there with that tank open as I say that that top seal it just didn't want to let me push that down at all um, yeah I, can I look at my eyes mate I look baked so yeah that's uh, pulling a fuel pump out of a Corsa B and checking it and putting it back in uh, if this video or any use to you at all from what I've been able to film um, Yeah, just like comment subscribe and remember whatever you're doing today make it different. See you later guys. I'm off to um, Get a clear head